This is Dr. Clayton Lane and in this video I'll be discussing snapping scapula syndrome. As you can see from this animation about a third of the motion of the shoulder is accounted for by the scapula moving on the chest wall. So in certain individuals painful popping can develop in the scapula thoracic space and that can be treated with arthroscopic shoulder surgery. In this first rather straightforward example we have a person who sustained a gunshot wound and the bullet has become lodged between the scapula and the chest wall. So arthroscopically, we're going to establish two small poke holes called portals seen here in this operative photograph. We're then going to use very small instruments and a small camera to go in underneath the shoulder blade and start removing the bursitis and scar tissue that's causing this pain and popping. Here you can see locating the bullet fragment and carefully teasing that out of the chest wall with very little trauma or disruption to the muscle fibers there. By removing this bullet fragment will of course solve the pain and popping in the shoulder blade. Here again you see the before and after x-rays with the bullet removed. In our second example the cause of the painful popping is a little less obvious. You can see I've outlined it here. There's a bone spur at the medial angle of the scapula and it's rubbing on the chest wall. So again, in this case, we're going to arthroscopically go underneath the shoulder blade, remove the bursitis, and instead of locating a bullet fragment, this time we're gonna locate that bone spur underneath the shoulder blade. We can use specialized instruments to carefully smooth that bone spur down. But also, once we remove the spur, we're also going to remove a portion of the bone of the scapula, which is called a medial angle resection. The medial angle resection has been shown in the literature to be an effective treatment for snapping scapula syndrome. Here you can see our x-rays show that the bone spur has been effectively removed with this procedure. Thank you.